Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. Pose, season two, episode eight, Revelations. That's coming up next. So the opening scene, we have Pray Tell and Ricky. They are at Pray Tell's and they're talking and they're reflecting and Pray Tell is laying out all of this medicine telling Ricky, hey, you have to take this magnesium, this vitamin, this vitamin, this tea, these things help me. And Ricky is telling him, look, I still haven't told anyone about my status, especially Damon. And Pray Tell says, hey, you gotta tell him. It's important that you discuss this, especially with people that you've been involved with. And of course, Ricky, he has this feeling like nobody else is gonna love me my life is over and pray tell encourages him to think hey look at me I'm getting through this let's take this walk together we cut to the next scene where we have Poppy and Angel they're in the room and they're just goo goo ga over each other just spilling all over each other and Poppy says look you're of a different class now. Let's go look at some apartments. So they look at the apartments and Angel's like, look, the last time I stayed in a place like this, I had a man that was buying all of this stuff for me. How can we live here? How can we afford this? He says, look, you had an ad with BB. You're getting all of these contracts. You're a big time model now. This is where you need to stay. stay. So I have a very, very bad feeling about this because of course they are on cocaine and I think they are in denial of everything thing around them that hey we're functioning everything is fine so maybe cocaine isn't that bad of course setting them up for dimming their own light unfortunately so pray tell he skips and leaps and glides basically to the cafe because him and Ricky have done their big move and they've been intimate, which I called in the last video. I had a feeling that Ricky was slowly getting towards Pray Tell because Pray Tell is very vulnerable. He hasn't been involved in a very long time. His boyfriend passed away. He's been feeling very lonely and Ricky's slowly making his crawl to someone that he takes advice from and confusing some Someone being really caring for maybe a lover. So pray, pray tell, he goes to this cafe and he sits down with the other organizers of the ballroom and they say, wait a minute, first of all, you late. Two, you keep doing this. You keep being late. And three, don't think you can keep doing this because we're here. We're here to get down to business. Oh, and wait a minute, you are glowing, honey. Why are you glowing? Who is this? What's been going on? Pray tell finally spills the beans that, hey, I finally find so found somebody. This is not serious. This is just something I'm playing around with. And they're like, okay, well, there's something you're playing around with. So who is this person? Because you know we're going to find out. He lets them know that is Ricky. And they say, what? He's a baby. And why are you messing with him? And pray tell says, look. I'm finally happy. I'm finally to a place where I feel like somebody loves me and somebody finds me beautiful. Can you just let me just enjoy my life? And they say, it, all right, have fun. But they give that kind of look like, move at your own risk. We have Damien and Ricky, they're at the house of Evangelista and they're just joking around and just having fun. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, Ricky, this, something better not happen if I think it's happening. You know, like, this better not go down, especially with your status. But gladly, they're cooking and they're talking, and Ricky finally admits, like, hey, I tested positive. And, of course, Damien is just, his whole world is blown up. And he said, you lied to me. You said you didn't sleep with anybody else, and now you're positive. And he's just thinking back. You can tell he's just going back to the catalog in his mind, like, I could possibly have it. And he says, look. You told, who else did you tell? Who else knows about this? And he says, well, pray tell. And he said, you told pray tell before you told me? And he says, well, he's always been there for me. And he's been teaching me things. And there was this energy where Damien wasn't a fool. And he said, you've got to be kidding me. You told pray tell before you told me. And y'all have been messing around. He was just like, get out. So he's screaming. And Damien has just had it because, of course, who else wouldn't have that reaction when a past lover tells you that they're positive. He cut to the next scene of Damien's graduation. Everybody's doing a performance and after the performance, they leave, they get in front of the building, they take pictures. We have the House of Evangelista and we have Electra and Pray Tell and they're all congratulating him and taking pictures. And the teacher, before they walks off, walk off, 
She taps Blanca like, hey, you weren't going to say goodbye to me? And Blanca says, you know what? I don't even think I would have known what to say. You've done so much for Damien. And I feel like no matter what I would have said, it wouldn't have been enough. And she says, you did a lot. The fact that you stood up for Damien and you wanted him to get that scholarship and you wanted him to stay in school, that was a lot for a mother. So just be proud of that. And I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of Damien. Blanca invites her to come to the celebrations at the House of Evangelista and she looks at her other students and of course she's going to have to be there for her other students so she politely declines so they go to the house of evangelista oh my and they have the cake and they have the balloons and they're celebrating damien's big day and as they're celebrating you can tell that damien is in his own bubble and his own thoughts and he you could tell he has something on his mind and you're like whoa what's about to go down and as Damien is saying, wow, you know, thanks. I'm, I'm just so glad I got through it. And, you know, and I'm just glad that I've, you know, graduated from school. And Angel says, hmm, well, what kind of career is that? What, is, what does a dancer do, you know, after they graduate? She takes the first dig and Damien says, well, I went to school to be a dancer, so the next thing would be to dance. So maybe that's what I'll do. And of course, Angel, she throws another jab and says, oh, so that's a short-lived career. You'll go on tour a little while, and then that's it. And, you know, I guess that's it. Uh, rather than me, you know, I'm, I'm a model and I'll tour the world, and it's just so much that I'm doing. And Damien is just bubbling over and bubbling over, and you could just see it starting to come up. And he says, oh, really? Really? Oh, oh, you know, you're glowing. So, you know, I, I thought that was good skin, but actually, no, it's that, it's that cocaine sweat. It's that cocaine hue. And Blanca's looking at her, and she's, like, in denial. Like, that's a big thing to accuse somebody of. And then, you know, uh, Electra and the other girl, they start to get up, and Electra says, hold up, well, this is just getting good. Sit down. We need, to, we need to watch the rest of this. So they continue to go back and forth and back and forth. And, of course, Pray Tell says, oh, just stop it. You're yelling. You're disrespecting the house, and you're disrespecting your mother. And, of course, Damien says, well, first of all, if I wanted your opinion, I would have gave it to you. I would have told you to get involved in this. And so, pray tell, he stands up and he's just like, that's just enough and you've done too much and all of this. And Damien spills the beans that, hey, uh, you've been sleeping with Ricky. And everybody's just like, oh, what? Mm -mm. And then Electra, she gets pissed because she says a mother never sleeps with her children. He's like, I'm not in of a house. And Electra says, so you are an elder. You know not to do this. You don't break the rules. And Pray Tell says, you know what? I'm a grown-ass man, okay? And Ricky is a grown man. And everybody in the house is like, Oof. like that might not be true because Ricky is so young. And he says, you know what? Forget y'all. I'm out of here. I don't have to take this. I'm done. He walks out. It's later on in the night. It's the ballroom scene. Everybody's there trying to have a good time. You can tell, tell that the tension is thick between Poppy, Angel, and uh, Blanca, and Damien's not there. And they're just like, well, Damien didn't show up, so I guess it is what it is. And uh, Angel, she says, well, you don't believe him, do you? You know, it's something I wouldn't do. She's like, oh, you know, I, I don't believe that. You know, I know it's not true or whatever, so I'm not worried about that. And Damien strolls in like, oh, hello. Are you guys enjoying the party? This is nice. Well, hello, mother. Um, so let me get this straight. Poppy can sell weed, and Angel can sniff cocaine, and they can just stay in the house. They can just break the rules. Okay, well, that's it. All right, well, fine. And so, of course, Blanca's still in denial. She says, look. I asked her if she was doing it. She said no. And so Damien says, okay, she said no. But, you know, that's the truth. I'm telling you the truth, and you're not believing me. So the music starts. They're starting the next category. And, of course, you know, Damien, he walks off, and he just makes his way into the competition. And, of course, he serves, and he does this wonderful dance, and he's just killing it. And everybody in there is just like, you're killing it. You're killing it. Go ahead, Damien. And even Blanca, even she stands up, and she's cheering him on. And he gets all tens, and he takes the trophy. As he goes back to the dressing room, he's wiping off the sweat, and he's getting prepared to leave. Someone from a talent agency or a talent scout walks up to him and says, hey, that was really, really good do you know such and such i think you'll be interested and i'm like whoa because i estimated in the last episode that damien would probably want be one of the ones to leave the nest 
first because he was so determined and he wants to keep going and he's just not settling for the same old same old not just settling for the same old same old but working even though he was working at the Y and he was going to school so he was really the one that showed really really good determination and working hard for something as important as his dancing you go outside of the club you got pray tell he's smoking his cigarette he's taking a little break from the ballroom and blanca walks outside and she's like we need to talk and pray tells looking at her like okay what you got to say and blanca says you know what we need to talk because out of all people you're doing certain things and, and it's just unacceptable he says so let me get this straight rules only apply to certain people and she says, what? He says, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you behave, your rules only apply to certain people. So you know or you've heard about certain things about your children. And you have, um, you know, you have a judgment that you have favorites amongst your children. You're not listening about what people are telling you. You're only applying some rules to certain things. And she says, but wait a minute. You and Ricky, that situation is messed up. He said, look, I'm 45. I'm getting old. I'm positive. And yes, I had a weak point because somebody actually loves me and cares for me. And I'm not of your house. So why are you coming at me? He says, look, let me just stop. You have to realize, okay, that rules should be even across the board. You shouldn't have favorites in your house. You have got to check yourself. And he says, even though I did what I did, I didn't mean to hurt anybody, especially you. So he walks off. It's already evident that Pray Tell has had a pretty messed up week, day, everything. So he goes home and he's completely flat out drunk. Ricky gets there and he sees that he's drunk and he's like, oh, you know, let me help you to the bed. And Pray Tell's just like, I defended you. You know, I, I, I defended you. And, and, you know, like, what are we doing here? What's going on? And Ricky tells him, look, you're drunk. Go in here, sleep it off. We'll talk about it later. He tucks him in. That next morning, Pray Tell wakes up to Ricky cooking him breakfast. And he's already sat out the medicine. And Pray Tell is just surprised. Like, wow, you're still here. Like, you really care. You really, really like me. You, you, you're not just using me. You really, really like me. And... He just gives him this this smile like he's just finally happy. Blanca and Angel, they meet up at a cafe or a little diner. And Angel said, hey, I ordered something for you. And she says, look, everything, all this drama, it's not a bed of roses. We got to settle this and get this straight. And it's just, it's a mess. And Blanca says, look, you know, pray tell. He does this and he does that. And Angel's like, look, we shouldn't judge their situation or whatever we're the last ones who, who should be able to judge anybody and i just want to come clean and say that damien was right i mean i've been using it blanca's like i knew it i knew it and, and i knew you were using it she says look it was the truth i was doing it she said i knew poppy would get you into stuff like that He's, she's like whoa and poppy didn't do anything it was my choice i was the one that made the decision to use cocaine and she says look ma just kick me out just kick me out. Think it. Think of it as just kicking me out of the nest and I need to get out of there. I really thought that was slick of Angel because I don't really think that she was distraught about leaving. I really think that that was the green light that she's trying to prepare for herself to get out of the house and find some excuse to get that apartment so they can super be free and just live in a cocaine wonderland. Because she wasn't sad. I didn't see any tears. It was just kind of like, oh, kick me out. We were using and, you know, it's, maybe it's just my time. So, ooh, I really think Angel is being super selfish. And she just wants to get out so her and Poppy could just live it up in cocaine land. Blanca gets home. She sees Damien in the room and he is packing, honey. He is packing his stuff. He is throwing all his stuff into a bag. Blanca just thinks, you know, that he's upset. She's like, look, I talked to Angel. She told me the truth. She was using it. Damien is just like, oh, great. Like, oh, I'm glad you know the truth now. Kind of look like, Ugh. and he continues to pack his stuff. And she's like, look, where are you going? He's like, well, a scout, you know, at the ballroom, they saw me dancing and they want to invite me to a tour. And, um, basically bye <laughs> you know and you know Blanca she says well when are you gonna be back and he's like look it could be six months it could be a year but I do know that it's in London and I am kind of scared and I don't know if I should go and Blanca in typical mother fashion she encourages him and says look this is your big break you need to take it go ahead and blossom and grow they share a hug 
The next scene, we get to Miss Electra and Blanca. They're at her place of work and she's getting ready for her dominatrix job, honey. And, you know, Blanca says, I just don't understand it. I give all my time, all my energy, and I raise these children and they leave. I, I, I don't understand that. And Blanca says, um, and Electra says, look, if you have children, your job is a, as a parent is to prepare them so they can go out into the world. If you don't do that, they're just parasites. So what are you doing? Like, basically, let them grow up. Like, you know, come on, get over it, honey. She gets some, she prepares herself, and she goes into that next room, and she's like, look, get, get ready, honey. And Blanca's like, oh, Lord, how can she do, do this job? So we cut to the next scene, and Blanca it sits at a table that's usually packed with her children, and she is sitting at the table completely by herself. And everybody is moving forward and moving on and blossoming. And it's just a big sign in saying that, wow, this is a phase of parenthood. I can only imagine having children and building a connection with your child and they leave the nest. Wow, that's a, that's a big step. And of course, as Pose does, they insert beautiful music to correlate with the scene and they play Mariah Carey, Love Takes Time. And as it's playing, I'm like, oh. I really, really like how they're morph morphing and shifting the show. Clearly, they are developing certain characters to kind of dissolve for a little bit, and they bring new people in, starting this cycle of the mothers and the children. As I said before, I still think they're setting us up to watch <laughs> watch them fall. I still believe that they're setting up for Blanca's death and that somebody has to step in and be the new mother. I don't have a good feeling about Angel and Miss Poppy. I do believe, as Miss Ford said, that she will unfortunately dim her own light. What will happen after Angel loses opportunities? What will happen after Angel's secret gets out? What does she have to fall back on? If that happens, the cocaine use and already being out of the house, and if that happens, how are you able to afford this high foo-foo apartments that you and Poppy plan on getting? Setting it up, they're setting it up, they're setting it up. The next episode, of course, they give a preview of all of the mothers, you know, they wanna take a girl's trip and kinda of get away. Angel, Electra, Blanca, and they just wanna have a moment to themselves. And it looks like Blanca is taking a special interest in a nice gentleman. The question is, is the gentleman aware of what's going on? Does he think Blanca is a female? Who knows? We only have one more episode left and I can't wait. I love the fact that they've slowed down the momentum of the show because you want to keep the audience intrigued and you want to keep this going for seasons and seasons and seasons to come. So I'm glad that they slowed it down. What do you think? Let me know. Make your comments. Did you like the episode? Did you not like the episode? Let me know. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts. And also follow me on Instagram. Same profile name, officialbun underscore E. Love you. Bye.